Hey guys, in today's video we're going to go over something that's super important for any athlete, any baseball player, and any catcher, and that's what it takes to be a great leader. The first thing I'm going to talk about is that great leaders lead by example. One of my favorite examples of great leadership is William Wallace from the movie Braveheart. He leads his countrymen by being on the battlefield with them. He's not on the sideline yelling directions, telling people what to do, or pawning off the small, insignificant jobs to the underclassmen. I know you upperclassmen are doing that. What makes you a great leader isn't your title. It's not that you're a junior or a senior or an upperclassman. It's that people want to follow you. People actually care about who you are, your passion, and what you want to do. That's what makes you a leader. I want you guys to listen to this quote by William Wallace, and you tell me down in the comments below if you agree with what he has to say about leading others. Now tell me, what does that mean to be noble? Your title gives you claim to the throne of our country, but men don't follow titles, but they follow courage. That's one of the greatest lines in a movie ever, in my opinion. I love that line. That men don't follow titles, they follow courage. Which brings me to number two, and that's that great leaders have a direction, they have a goal, and they're passionate about pursuing that. If you wanna be a leader, you have to pursue something that's worth going after. No one wants to follow the lazy man or a person without ambition. There's nowhere to go with somebody like that. That type of person is just sitting around waiting for life to happen, waiting for the game to happen, waiting for the season to be over. To me, those are the types of players that are too cool to care enough about being passionate about what they're doing, or they're the player that's too afraid to actually put themselves out there to pursue greatness. If you're gonna be a leader on your team, you're gonna actually have to step out and take the risk of failing or looking bad to your teammates or people that are watching you so that you can lead others. Have a goal that you're passionate about if you're a leader. Whatever that goal is for the team, whether that's making it to the playoffs or having a winning season or winning a state championship, make sure that you are passionate about that, that people want to follow you towards that goal. If you're passionately pursuing a direction for your team and for yourself, people will jump on board and be a part of what you care about. I think sometimes leadership sounds cool to people, but when it comes down to what it actually costs to be a leader, people really don't want that responsibility. I think sometimes they think they're in charge, now they have the power, they can tell other people what to do, but that's not really being a leader, that's just being a manager. People don't really follow managers, they do what they're told, but they don't actually care about what they're being told to do. When you're a leader, people want to follow you. People care about what you're doing, they like who you are, and they're happy to follow along in the direction that you're going. But the tough part of leadership comes when things start going badly. Then what do we do? Great leaders step up to that challenge. They don't step back. And this is where for you coaches, this is where you really see who is the leader on your team. When things are going bad, who's the guy that steps in and takes charge and holds players accountable? Whatever comes out of these gates, we've got a better chance of survival if we work together. Do you understand? If we stay together, we survive. Great leaders hold their teammates and their friends accountable. If you have a goal and you're passionately pursuing it as a team, it's your job as the leader to keep everyone accountable to the standard that's been set. Great leaders don't allow their teammates to derail the team for someone else's selfish desires and wants. The team comes first and a leader communicates that to everyone around and makes sure that no one gets away with putting themselves in front of the team. I wanna show you guys a great clip of what it looks like to hold your teammates accountable. I love that clip because that's a perfect example of what it takes 
to hold your teammate accountable and be a leader for the team. It would have been really easy for Gary Bertier to let that go and not address it in front of the team. But he cared about the end goal of the team more than looking cool to the guys around him. That's what it takes to pursue greatness. That's what it takes to reach the goal. It takes everybody on the team being on the same page and it takes a great leader to take charge of that team. As a leader, we don't have the luxury of being the cool guy or the swag guy. The whole swag thing and the cool guy thing is so overrated, that isn't going to make you a winner. And when you're a winner, you don't need swag. So I challenge you guys to become a great leader. Lead by example. Have a direction and a goal and passionately pursue it. And be willing to hold your teammates accountable. Being a great leader is like pure gold. Everybody wants it and it's super, super valuable. So take this opportunity to set yourself apart and become a great leader. I hope you guys like this video on the mental game. If you haven't checked out our video, The Mentality of a Catcher, be sure to check that out. It's one of our most popular videos. And make sure to hit the subscribe button. And thanks for watching. <laughs>